Hello everyone, welcome once again to Walking the Candy Isle. I'm Jeff, and here we are once again for another review. Today, Swizzles Matlow makes their debut, I believe, on Walking the Candy Isle with the Banana Skids. Not one of their premier products, I don't think, but uh, its hilarity intrigued me. So Swizzles is, um, or Swizzles or Swizzles, Swizzles Matlow Limited, I think is who they are. They're a uh, British candy company. Um, and I think that their best known product is the Parma Violets, maybe, um, which are like in... Uh, in America, you might know um, Smarties, or in Canada, you might know Rockets. They're similar to those, or uh, Sweet Tarts, right? Similar to that in a, in a way. Um, they also make refreshers and uh, a line of, of chew candies called Dum Dums, I think. Not Dum Dums. No, Dum Dums is something else. Dum Dumbbells. That's it. Sorry. Um, then they make a whole bunch of other stuff. They they do really well at Halloween, so they're like um, seasonal. Is, is pretty big, but then they also make stuff that sort of is around. A lot of candy, not as much, not, I don't think they have any chocolate bars, but um, this is the Banana Skids, which is hilarious. It's a banana thing, which I kind of love, having any candy that's a banana flavored candy. It's clearly, it's like, look, he's, he's skidding on a banana. <laughs> oh, the slapstick times we're gonna have with this thing. This is, um, where are they? They're from Swizzles, made in New New Mills, I, High, High Peak, Derbyshire. They're in Derbyshire, okay? But this is, in fact, a uh, banana and toffee flavor chew bar. It's a banana chew bar, huh? So that's what we got, a banana and toffee chew bar. Sure. Why not? Uh... What? Is it supposed to look like that? Oh, okay. I thought that this was... I'm like, yeah, is it supposed to be all weird colored like that? No, no. It's another piece of... It's like... Ugh. Okay. Let's not worry about that bit. So, okay. So it's got this. I guess. Why does it have two wrappings? Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that. It's got this secondary wrapping. I guess maybe it would stick to the paper. Look at that. Now that's a chew if I ever saw one, huh? Pretty malleable, not too tacky. I'm going to guess banana and toffee. Yep. Does it look like there's more toffee than banana? That's what it looks like to me. Let's give it a shot. Oh my. <laughs> Here, you can get a sense of it. Here's the pull. Wow. Let's put that back together. All right. Hmm. Well, okay, all right, I'm trying to get through this. Um, it's very sticky. I don't really like that. I, like I just don't like it, it's too sticky. But, let's see, the flavor is, um, flavor's not great. Flavor's really not great either. Uh, it's, uh, it does have a banana flavor, certainly, um, but it's, uh, it's, it's not as banana-y as it is toffee-y, I guess. The banana doesn't like, it's not like a, like a popping, sort of like, like, wow, banana, like a, like a banana Laffy Taffy or anything. This is a more subtle banana. Probably because it's just overtaken a little bit by the toffee. I like the idea of pairing the banana with the toffee. That actually kind of makes sense in a way. Um, the toffee kind of cuts the banana flavor. Um, however, if you're going to eat a banana flavored thing, I think that you want the banana flavor. Like banana is such a distinct flavor in a candy. It's, it's not found in very many candies. And um, 
I think if you're going for it, just go for it, right? Don't uh, don't hedge your bets with something like this. Uh, more importantly to me, though, oh Jesus, sorry guys. Uh, and more importantly to me, though, is the um, the sticky factor. This is a really hard shoe. No, not not. It's not hard. It's just it's a hard thing to get through because it. Um, It's really sticky. This should be <clears throat> like if this were made like a um like a taffy more, like a saltwater taffy. Like a banana toffee flavored saltwater taffy would be great. I'd even would give it you know, even with this sort of flavoring, this flavor mixture, it would be more passable if it were not quite in this form factor. But um, as it is, I do not like the way that this is put together. No, I don't at all. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Guys, I don't think this is very good. I love the packaging, it's cute. I, I think it's, I, I, I like the idea in a way, like in theory, but, <coughs> excuse me. I don't think that the execution is very good. So I gotta say, sorry, swizzles. This is uh, this is a swizzle you can swizzle right on by. Do not uh, do not do not skid for the banana skids, guys. This is just not uh, not one that you need to try. Walking the candy aisle is gonna rate swizzles banana skid uh, skids. I'm gonna rate it a one out of five. Sorry, guys, does not cut it. I have a couple other swizzle product though products though. When I picked this up, I got it in like a multi-pack of like five or six different Swizzles things. So um, I have a couple other things that I will review, you know, in the coming, whatever, in, over the coming weeks. Um, because why not? Yeah, they're Swizzles. It seems like, a, like an interesting company. I always like the sort of secondary candy companies, especially ones that are candy focused and doing uh, like seasonal stuff. It's, it's always interesting to see what kind of things they produce. So... Um, Unfortunately, no go for the banana skids, but I will, uh, I'm looking forward to trying some of their um, other, you know, perhaps better known products. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I will talk to you next time. So long.